Hello and welcome back to the channel. Oh, that wasn't that wasn't that wasn't the same intro, so was it? Today we're going to change the gearbox and front differential fluid, which are combined in yep. the Fiat Panda. But this being a four x four, we're also going to do the rear diff. But first, I'm going to bore you with my oil saga. Oh, go on then. So I purchased. Can we see that? I purchased this oil and it is from, it's a Bilstein product. So I purchased this locally, it's the correct grade, and I thought this is perfect. Yeah. But sort of wanting to double check, because it says axle oil on it, I emailed Blistein Direct and asked them that I've got, gave them the VIN number and everything of the car, and asked them whether this would do the, this was suitable for the gearbox because it is the correct grade that's specified in the owner's manual. So I then downloaded this document with the coffee stains on it. <laughs> nice. And they have the specific Fiat grade oil, which is here. So if I show you these two, and obviously there is a nice picture of a rear differential on there, and this is a 75W85, this is a 75W85. The difference being in tiny writing at the bottom, this is an, uh, with my bad eyes, this is an APL, no, an API GL5, and this is a GL4 Plus. I have no idea what that means, but interestingly, and this is why I'm boring you with this, when I emailed Bilstein, they came back and said to me, do not put this in a Fiat Panda, even though this is a 75W85 GL5, which is identical to that one. They said this is not suitable to put a Panda, it's not suitable to go into the car in any shape or form, do not put it in. I can't tell you any more than that, other than that's the manufacturer telling me not to put it in, and they actually said to me, um, and if I remember, I'll insert a bit of the email. Mm. They said, only put in Fiat approved, the Fiat approved oils into this car. So this is why it's taken us so long to get. Yeah, we've been meaning to do this for a couple of weeks now. We've been fannying around with mm. the oil and only because of my OCD-ness that this isn't going in. No, you, we would just put that in otherwise. Well, I cannot, for the life of me, whichever was the right one, that, that to me, is a 75W85 uh, API GL5, and, and that says GL5. The only difference on here that I can find is this API, mm. and I've no idea, and I've searched, and I can't find what that means. No, the only thing with these um, fluids are, it's, let me hear that, it's like water. I mean, it is. And that isn't, well, mm. I they sound pretty similar, but it's just compared to normal differential fluid, like we would put in my L200, this is like water. Yes, and and in the back there's next to nothing. No. So um, rather than carry on boring you any longer, or I'm only saying that because this car is nearly new, a few months old now. Yeah. It's under warranty, and if anything went wrong, you could blame the oil. So we are only using Fiat approved. Fiat approved mm oils which I've had to buy online they had to come in from Italy yeah. and they're bloody expensive as well so there we are it's going in but if you want to take the risk on your own oil I can't I'm not an oil technician I no, can't no. tell you why but the only thing I would say is that the manufacturer told me not to put it in and that's from our local we told them the car yep. and we went into a local it's not a small store really it's no, quite no, big, it's a big, big big conglomerate here in Portugal and Spain mm, they are. Yeah. We went in, they looked it up online and they gave us this. But they did. It, the interesting part is the manufacturer told me not to do yes. it. So anyway, we, I'm boring you again, yes. so let's crack on. Okay. Right, so we're at the rear diff here, as you can see, and this is the drain plug right here. And just above we've located the fill plug, which is here. They're identical uh, screws, so you can probably tell them uh, together. Now we're going to take the top one out, the fill plug, before the bottom uh, drain plug, because if you drain all your oil out uh, and then you can't actually undo the fill plug, you're in uh, a bit of a problem. So uh, you always take out the fill plug first, so you know you can always put your oil back in. And that really isn't tight whatsoever. That is not done up to The other me. thing that um, the oil doesn't come with a fill, so you, the access is quite tight, so we are going to need 
a pump of some description which we have invested in. Yes. So you can see only a and tiny the bit of. It's coming out and it's immaculate. Okay. I like that. I wouldn't expect anything else, would no, you? No, shouldn't do. So this vehicle's done 9,000 kilometres. Yes. Right, so we're so going to try catching it just for okay. our own right. amusement. There we go. That wasn't very eventful, was it? I hope a bit more comes out. So we're, it says on in the manual there that it's um, 0.63 of a litre, so there certainly isn't much in there. And <laughs> oh, uh. oh, hello. So, okay, there's a, I can see a small, it looks like a button almost in there. Button? Yeah, can you see that look, like a piece of metal up there? Oh, yeah. Like in there. I wonder if you push it. Pass. Can you do it with your finger? Does a crap ton more oil come out? No, Cause that doesn't move. No? Well, we haven't even had a quarter of its recommended amount there. We've nothing. We haven't even got 100 mil yet. Well, no more can come out. It was full because the stuff came out the full plug. Yep. Interesting. Yeah, you can see in there, there's a little, looks like a stopper almost, or a filter of some description. Let's pop him out. Okie dokie. If we can. Yep. Maybe needle nosies. Or am I doing the honours? Well, you've got better eyesight than me. It's true. Hold on. Crack on. Oh, here it comes. Yep, it's out. It's a stopper. Hang on, let's hold that by hand. Okay, so that's very, very important. There we are. A little stopper. With an O-ring on it. Yep. We'll keep that clean and to the side. Okay, give me him. Here you are. Nice solid flow of oil. Ah, oh, that's more like it. Yep. I was a bit concerned there, nothing coming out. Yeah, we only got 100 mil. Ah, well that was, that's, that's interesting. So, yes. um, oh, oh, I mean, we're, mm. as we've often said, we're not the most experienced people on the planet. I've never seen that But one, I've no. never ever seen a bung in there, but uh, it's a very good safety feature to stop. Yeah, all the oil coming yeah, out. If yeah, you, if you like lose, Yeah, if you lose your bung. Who would have thought Fiat's were this brilliant? Yeah. Right, so we're going to start putting it back together. Now I'm going to put the little stopper with the O-ring back in. Just sits in centrally there, and you push it with your finger. Doesn't go. The oil must push it back. Yep, doesn't go any further there. And obviously the O-ring's always lubed up. Quite a smart idea. Well, that's fascinating. Yeah, and then we'll put the uh, plug back in. There we go. Now online we haven't seen a specific torque figure, but when I undid it, it was extremely loose. Just lent on the, the wrench and it went. So I'm just gonna give that a nice little snug there. You can sort of feel it. It's uh, got sort of what are. I'd call old fashioned PDFE tape type yes. product on it. So we're leaving that as it was. Mm. And we've got a new pump to test out, haven't we? And our new pump. So we will, so that's one thing I think if you're gonna be doing this yourself, access in here is, is quite tricky, but if you've got, oil with a tube on but obviously uh, we're saying as Fiat is saying use the exact oil that came with no tube mm. so we're going to use our little pump okie dokie like it okay I'll do the honors of holding the tube right there we are we're in right I'll get as high as I can okay okay yep crack on <laughs> my spindly little arms aren't up to this <laughs> Sorry, I'm all greasy. It's all right. Anything to do with oil is difficult. Oh. Oh, right. Would we say that's about it? I would. More squirt? Yeah, yeah. Right. 
that will do. Okie dokie, put the cap on. We're catching a bit of excess oil in our canister. Yeah. But we got 550 mil out. Right. And I would say we got about 550 mil back in. Because we were just under the 600. So I'll let that drip for a couple of seconds. Settle itself down. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to put the bung back in. There we are. And exactly the same, I'm just going to snug that up. Just till I feel. There we are. Not much at all on that. So, we saw what went in. This has come out, and actually if you hold that, my no problem. handsome assistant. Ooh. I noticed the first bits that came out were quite, there was quite a lot of, you can't really see. No, um, can't see anything through that, blimey. No, can't see anything through that. So everyone, uh, when I was asking questions about oil on um, Fiat forums, most people thought I was bonkers wanting to change it. But again, it doesn't look it's like filthy, isn't it? That doesn't look like a two, three month old. Did. We have been hard on it. That's true. It's had a lot of engagement, so... Yeah, I think our rear diff's probably done more than most, most. people, because I don't think most people go off... We've been off-road. No. We bought it to go off-road, yeah. so... Um, but again, I think that the dirt that's in there, I think is possibly quite a bit of the build. Yes. There's going to be greases, greases and all and sorts loops, of things yeah. that have nothing to do with the car not performing well. Mm. But I think that that should come out. But I did notice in the first bit there were a couple of little um, lumps of gunk, which I didn't like the look okay. of. Uh, but there's no magnet in it. Oh, there's not? No? No, no okay. magnet on that um, bung thing, no. I think, was there? No, no, there but wasn't. But I think no, that's well. um, a good reason to have changed. We should mm. have probably changed earlier, but... Um, well, it's better, at, better to do it than not. Yeah, Look at it. I, I don't know. Uh, again, it's very. I, we're in Portugal and we are very thick, not speaking the language very well. But uh, finding out when they're going to change this on the service. So I'm going to ask next time we go into mm. the dealer. I'm going to, I've got a little checklist of everything I'm going to ask. And I'm going to ask when they're going to change this. Because I don't think they'd do this at the first service. No, me neither. I just think they'd they do it. They should have done. They, they should have. I think they're just doing an engine oil change. I think that would be about so, it. So, please with that. Yep, let's right crack on with the front. In, right amount out. Let's do the gearbox. So all these bolts are a size 10. Handy tip on this Panda when you're taking the skid plate off. Uh, front, if you work from the front back, it's a lot easier because the front's actually held in. Uh, you sort of slot the front in, so it's held up even if you take out all the screws. So if you work your way back, once you take the back ones out, then you're free, so the front will hold itself. There we are. If you take all that for me. So as you can see, the back comes down and the front's slid in with two little clips. There we are. Now it is actually quite a weight, this skid plate, surprising everything else on the car is so small. Okay, so we move under the front of the car here, uh, and as you can see, this is the gearbox, and the diff is attached to the gearbox here. And this is our fill plug right up here. You can see this is a big Allen key. And uh, down here, if we move, you can see that along the side, there's another, I think that's an Allen key. Let me check. Looks like it. It looks like it, and that's our um, drain plug. So we'll start off by removing the fill one, the same as the rear diff, and then we'll move on to the drain. There we are. Nice. He was a fair bit tighter than the other one, so we'll definitely have to get the torque setting for yeah. him. You got it? Yeah. This is your time to cover yourself. Well, I'm going to try not to. Well, there's a fair bit to come out of here, isn't there? There is. 
Yeah, that was in. Um, this was the first one that was in for me. Oh shit! Oh. Uh, no, didn't get it. No, on, on the no. gloves. On the gloves. That's what they're there for. Whoa! We're he. Nicely done. This is a good bit of kit. It is, yeah. So. Again, that doesn't look like it's got a magnet on it, but if it is, there is nothing on it, and no extra little bung thing. No, 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 this is just a regular, regular drain plug. Right, it's in, so if you can just hold it. Got it? Got it. Right, so I'll how go. much more do we reckon we want? Half of this, I think. Okay. You tell me when it starts coming out. You probably have to move the red thing as well. Just twist it around when it comes out. Should be any right. time. It's getting nothing. Go on. Should be any time now, shouldn't it? Should be. The suspense is killing me. Oh, here we go. That's it. Is it? Yeah. Oh, good. You need to finish that. <laughs> right. I'll do all this. If you want to put the plug back in. There we go. Cool. Right. Now, this plug was the same as the rear diff. Uh, PTFE tape and don't go crazy on the tightening. So just nice and snug, like so. There we are, and there we go. Successful gearbox and front diff change. this has helped you we were nearly caught out by that little um secondary sort of it's like a safety feature wasn't it yeah so you so, can that little plug quite cool i liked yeah, it so if you're doing this uh, i mean we obviously normally when we do it the oil just, just covers us yeah covers us <laughs> comes out and this had so that, i think if you can take anything from this that yeah. is the key and the oil so that's the gearbox oil and i just thought that um so you can see again it's pretty black but this one which is the rear diff I thought I would show that there was a fair bit of whether you can see that but there was a fair bit of gunk dropped out of it um, not sure what it is it's um, some sort of black gunk but I would say that that is little bits of grease or something from the build yes because it will have had to have had small bits Does of lubricants put around the the joints before they put it in things. they're definitely not metal they're not mud no that's a di i think that's a different type of oil a grease a grease so i think from that i think it, it really is if you if you're treating yourself to a new vehicle which uh you know you're spending all your hard-earned on it i think it's worth spending a few quid on changing the oil me and too it's, it's not is, difficult it's a doddle isn't yeah it? we can do it anyone can do it yeah very true you but could just lay underneath it and do it it's so easy yeah so it can be done on axles or yep. anything but hopefully i know someone wanted to watch it so uh yes hopefully you enjoyed yes we enjoyed yeah, it we certainly I, did i enjoy changing oil a little bit more than a normal person yes Good. Yeah, you do. We've got a nice uh, genre of oils that uh, yeah, we've, we've been using. So uh, he's been treated to his new oil, and now he's going to get thrashed off yeah, road. Tomorrow we are going to film uh, some sort of off-road yeah, adventure. The back of, if you know Portugal at all, we'll be at the in the hills at the back of Tavira. Yes, we will. So uh, that'll be our first time there. Quite it exciting. Will, and um, we're going down to the salt flats as well. So yeah, uh, that'll we'll, be cool. We'll, get, we'll see if we can not crash the drone in yeah, the salt flats. That, yeah, that would be handy. So a little sub would be nice. Yeah, so stay tuned. On that one and uh, thanks for watching. Thank you.